it's not always an easy, predestined path to success. Patrick Cantley, one of the most amazing performances we've ever seen. Every experience, especially impactful experiences, shape you daily. Unflappable attitude and steady demeanor. There's no give up in this guy. What a meteoric rise. This guy is suddenly a superstar. Life is not golf. And golf is not life. With low scores and high praise, golf seemingly came easy to Patrick Cantlay, to the point that it motivated his peers. Patrick Cantlay and I, when we're playing golf, are almost two different people. You won't be able to know what he's thinking at all. I'm trying to be a little more towards him. He was dominating as a freshman in, in college, and then as a sophomore in college, he was beating the Spieths and the Thomases. He was that guy before those guys. While at UCLA, Cantley spent a then record 55 weeks as the top ranked amateur in the world. He also dazzled at the next level, earning low amateur honors at the 2011 US Open. Please recognize Patrick Cantley. I got to caddy for him at Congressional. I always knew that he was going to be a tour player, and I also knew that he was going to be a great player. The next week, Cantley fired a 60 at the Travelers Championship this time with his best friend, Chris Roth, on the back. 19-year-olds are supposed to be studying history. They're not supposed to be making it. That was ridiculous. The way he's going right now, it's pretty special. You realize how big that grin is on your face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cantley turned pro in 2012 to outsize expectations. But before long, his linear path to success was derailed. In 2013, while warming up on the range, he felt a stabbing pain in his back. Later, he was diagnosed with a stress fracture in his L5 vertebrae, the beginning of a maddening and methodical recovery. I definitely saw a, a number of people to try and help me, physical therapists and doctors, chiropractors, and I got told that I needed to take a year off after already having been out close to two years. and. That really floored me. Already reeling, he soon endured unimaginable trauma. In February 2016, Cantley was out in Newport Beach with his friend Chris Roth. New information out of Newport Beach where police released the name of a man killed in the hit and run. Police say Nancy Flores hit Christopher Roth with her car as he was crossing the street and kept going. Cantley rushed to his friend's aid and called 911, but it was too late. Roth was pronounced dead at the hospital. He was just 24 years old. It affected me demonstrably. You know, at the time, no real like, bad things had happened in my life. This was the first real monumental sadness I had ever felt. After, he said, what am I going to do with this? And I said, you're not going to do anything with this. It's never going to go away. Those things are permanent. You can't change them. You know, I was definitely depressed. I felt as though nothing mattered. I realized that that way of thinking was not helpful. I had a whiteboard with eight things that I had to do every day. They would be very little things and every day I'd check off on the whiteboard. One of them may have been go to physical therapy. But that process of checking off the items on the list, even though I wasn't doing a lot, I was making steps in the right direction every day and, and that really helped me. We had many a, a conversation on whether he wanted to keep playing. He had talked with Chris's family about, this is what he would want you to do. Recovering physically and healing emotionally, Cantley returned to the PGA Tour in early 2017. Leaving only two starts to secure his card, he closed out his comeback year with his first tour victory. Once a can't-miss kid, now he's a winner on the PGA Tour. And there's only two things that happen when you go through a rough time. Either it sets you back forever or you persevere and you're better because of it. He's definitely done the second one. 
These days, Cantley is known more for his efficient, unflinching style of play rather than his inspiring backstory. In 2021, he ascended to new heights. FedEx Cup champion. What an achievement. Earning PJ Tour Player of the Year honors and starring in his Ryder Cup debut. Yes, sir, he figured it out. Look at Cantley. Now is, he's getting the crowd wild up. Is that Patrick Cantley? Yeah. There was no leak. All of the tweaks I made were standard tweaks that I would make in a normal year, nothing crazy different. When you're in the moment and you're down the stretch of winning a golf tournament, nothing else matters. Golf is so great at getting you to focus on the present. Can't lay the winner. On the golf course, in life, when you start feeling more comfortable in uncomfortable situations, then you can break out and you can get to that next level. And that's what Patrick has done. To access that next level, Cantlay will rely on the same values that once appeared on his whiteboard. Process, purpose, patience. That's what has guided him through the setbacks and the grief. And now, through the resounding success. Staying process oriented helps. There are things that are much more important than golf. Having the right perspective can help you navigate the highs and lows. It's never as easy as it seems sometimes, and it's never as difficult as it can feel. If you are cognizant of that and work hard every day, even on eight little things on a whiteboard, over time you can achieve really big, great things.